Exer is the rank 1 player and best Yoru in the world. So today, I'll break down exactly how he does it and how you can become a better player. Is this... Okay, 1v5? 3 HP, 2 TPs, 1 flash. Okay, so he sends the... Okay. So the first TP he sent through the Astro Wall because they won't be able to hear it on the other side of the wall. So he can get a free TP off completely for free without making any noise. Really good reposition. Perfect pop flash. Another TP setup on the two kill reset. Flash TP Cypher. Perfect, man. Perfect. I want to point out really quick here, actually, how he flashes high up here. It doesn't flash low against the Cypher. It doesn't seem like a lot, but the difference between these two flashes is night and day. And it's why Cypher got full flashed, because it's pretty much unturnable, because it's not even on his screen. Which is why this will be so successful. Yes, yeah, so he completely flashed. So well played. Great two kills on the, uh, the Jet Dash and Out switch. Going for a, a pop flash in the smoke. Yep. If you notice on this one, he looks directly down when he pops his flash. If you look just completely down at the ground, it'll pop just out of the top of the smoke. It's nearly undodgeable. That's why they, they're both... Like, look how flash that KJ is. Playing the smoke with a Bucky. Definitely a free kill. Great flash. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, my, yeah, my Bucky doesn't do that. His TP went a little bit far. Uh, like, it was like all the way B side. I wish it would have been more spawn side, but so we'll play. 1v4 with the the operator. He has a TP mount. Nice, really good repositioning TP there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I, I've had kills like this before. That kill on Neon, he like looked down. Look at his webcam whenever he gets this kill. <laughs> Brother, he pulled his whole forearm down for that, for that Neon kill. Oh my god, what a Sheesh. shot. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I mean, that, that was just like, the TP was like doing a lot of work there. If you're playing Yoru, and especially if you have like two TPs and you're buying two TPs, and you don't always have a TP set up for you to like get out of the position that you're currently in, you're playing him wrong, always. You should always have a TP set up somewhere for you to get out of whatever position you're playing. Oh, he's too fast, he's too fast. He cannot keep up with me. Extra so good, bro. Smokes. Okay, set up a TP mid site here now this is something i've been doing a lot more recently as well instead of just sending your tp back site like here or even like all the way into this elbow behind this wall here it's much better to like send your tp to like the middle of site like on the bind tube for example or like over on a site on bind instead of sending it all the way back behind triple and under heaven you just send it to like front truck and going like the first half of site is much much better than like going all the way to the back of site it's so much safer and it's one thing i've learned a lot from extra playing from him he does it really well just like here. TP's on a Cypher halfway through. Yep. And then the spotty TP's as well is so important there, right? If you notice, he takes his TP right when he's like covered by the tube here. So the only fight he can take is against Cypher. And then Sky can't trade him because she's all the way in elbow and he's covered by tube. And the same person with backside here. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but this TP is like the perfect time to take it. Really well played. Yeah. I mean, like, look at that. Like, literally, just one, one, one. Like, he got four, three 1v1s. Yeah, it's over. That's just flow state. At that point, the ace is guaranteed. Nice. Good rotation TP. Again, okay, look. And notice. Notice how... In the second you take your first TP, he instantly uses his second one to give him that option as well. You always have to have a TP cooking if you have the availability to. 1v4. Jet did not need to jump peek that. She already had the information. Omen's going for a blind. Um, I mean, the enemy is down 8-0. to zero. Like, they're all just like... They just want to push everything at this point. Okay, 1v2. KJ has ult. Because of the kills he got, he has another TP he can work with. He has full utility, clone, and his flashes. Pops ult here. The second he pops ult, KJ and Sova start running. Because they know like, oh, sh we're in trouble. We gave him ult. This is not a good situation for us two to be in. He pops ult. He, he uses his fake TP so he can use his new TP. Anchors it back sight. Goes for a flash. First flash was kind of weak. Clone unults. Perfect pop flash. Jumps on them both. Yeah, really well played. Perfect. Perfect. 
And I want to point out that flash as well. So with this box, he didn't look directly down, but actually instead of aiming here, you can actually just look fully down. He was doing it kind of quick. You can pull your mouse all the way down and bounce the flash here and it'll pop above this box, even though it's two boxes high. Um, so really well played. I mean, it was pretty much the same thing, but that's just rank one behavior. Not gonna lie. Bro, I'm an extra glazer in this video. Holy sh I'm his biggest glazer. Okay, popping ults here. He's got breach, clone. Yeah, he's just lost. Oh, I thought he was gonna get two. Yeah, that was just a good pre-fire. Nothing really there. I mean, he kind of just got set up for two kills. Good flash. Taking heaven with jet. That's just good aim. Grim. Grim. Yeah. Nice. I mean, that was just... The ult was great. The ult was great. Notice how, with this flash, he flashes here. He sees one CT, right? So first of all, he knows this guy's CT. So once he's done with heaven, he knows where this guy's coming from. He knows that his team is taking heaven here. So he uses this window of this person being flashed and takes heaven with the rest of his team. And that's another reason why this play works so well, because he got to trade the jet here. Like, look, instantly traded the jet, got him two kills, and now he knows where this guy is. Yeah, it's just, it's just, that's just, I mean, oh, damn. masterclass. Oh, damn. That's all I gotta say, bro. Oh, damn. Yeah, oh, for real. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. 93 HP, 1v4. All he has is a single flash. Great aim. Oh, my God. And then now he can just pop flash. Yup. Look, I told you. Look directly down. It's a full flash. I'm so bored. He could, he could fake TP if he wants to. Yup. So that... Oh, dude, that flick was nasty. Push on TP slash Kira. Push so that's another common shot you can do as well. So this TP right here, it's like, it's a jump peak TP. So you're literally just like, you're jumping, but you're casting your TP animation. Like you're jumping and pressing E at the same time. Okay, he's ulting in on the C side here. He has clone, one flash TP. Yep. Good kill on the KJ. I mean, she was blind. Swinging off his clone. Another good pop flash. Surprised that hit, honestly. One more. Yeah. Oh. One thing I've learned a lot from watching Exter, he doesn't... He doesn't throw it off the wall here, right? An iron player or a hard stuck immortal one player, me, would just bounce it off the wall here and go for like a pop flash. But dude, look at this. He throws it directly off the ground and it just fucking flies to the sky and like he gets two full flashes with it. Like, bro, no wonder he farms so many kills. His flashes just go the distance. Oh shit. That's really well played. I can win that flash hit. Icebox, the worst map of all time, is coming back in like eight days. I'm so sad. Okay. He's got he's got full utility. 33 HP. Enemy team knows where he is. He does have ult though. I like that. Did you catch that? I don't think you caught that. He faked sound on the zip line to make it seem like he was taking it. But he's actually heaven. He also popped a fake TP. So now they really don't think he's there. Catches the omen with the off angle. And then the round's over. I mean, he's got ult in a 1v1. The round's over. Risky flash. Nice. The arrow could have turned that. I mean, that was just perfect. I mean, and he's got the aim to back up these plays, too. Long drone Goddamn. I am glazing extra, bro. I sound like the biggest fucking extra fan in the world right now. Yeah. Nah, that Yoru was trolling. That Yoru... That Yoru... Stop playing Yoru. Great clone. Ooh, they lined up, too. No, Ooh. he's there. Omen's blind, it's just a free kill. Yeah, nice. <laughs> GG. Perfect, Oh my man. god, the G Pro Super Light is overpowered. Honestly, Exter, let me show you a better C Long Flash. Exter, get out your notepad, bro. Let me show you. Let me put you on for a C Long Flash. So it's super simple. You literally just want to like aim anywhere in the middle of this like wooden beam right here. And then up in the tree, kind of hard to see, but like you see like where this branch, there's like no leaves. Right where there's leaves, you'll see like almost like a V. You literally just aim at this like the bottom of this V and throw it up. And it, it's a full flash every single time. Somebody send this video to Exter, put him on. And then I want to see a clip of him using the flash too. Bro, Exter without a beard looks 16 years old. How old is Exter? Great flash. They're all there. Last two there. Race outside, race outside. You want triple. Full utility still. Okay, so this TP right here is probably end up somewhere around triple or bench. I guarantee it. Look where his TP is going. It's going to go right to bench. I also want to point out here. So he also sends a clone here as well to kind of like fake the CT push. And he silently jumps up heaven. That way he could swing off of his clone and then swing heaven and kill the guy. But he shoots the clone before he can get the trade. So that was the play he was going for. Yeah, great shot. Yeah, well played. Okay. 
Great ultimate, getting a ton of info, info for his team. Yep. Perfect flash. So when he bounces the flash off the wall here, it's going to come towards him, splatter like right in front of KO's face. And there's just no turning from it. Full flash instantly. Catches Chamber on his TP. Oh my god, that padding. Nobody in their right mind would ever expect a Yoru to unult top back. To unult top back. Nobody in their right mind would ever expect a Yoru to unult on top of box here, even if you're rank one. Great flash on the jet, too. I'm going to point this flash out, too. You'll watch Extra do this, and you're like, how does this work? In my lobby, they just one-tap me, they blah, blah, blah. But, like, look at this. It's so small. Look at this flash. Look where he's aiming. You know why he's aiming here? He knows that it's going to bounce in front of her. And it just, it just does, like, yeah. It's just little things like that that just, like, really separate, like, low elo players and high elo players. Yeah, see, if that's me, the Reina just one-taps me. Jiggle peeking with the shorty? Wait. Maybe he thought Silva was closer. Again, look, the same TP we talked about earlier, bro. I'm telling you. He's covered from elbow. Puka smoked off. He's covered from back sight. It's such, like, a good isolated position. Look at that. Look, he's already pre-firing the elbow player. He already, dude, he already is. Like, because he knows that's where people play. Okay, that TP was insane. All right, all right, nah, <laughs> hold on. That was a risky TP. I get he was going for the Phoenix ult, but like, okay, 1v3. He has two flashes, spike is down. Me personally, I keep a TP here. I take the TP, fake plant, and then take it back. He sends his TP through the actual teleporter, and then goes that way. Which is another good play, because unless they hurt it, which they probably didn't, he can just take it and rotate as well for free. Yep. Equally a good play. It's Cypher ult either way, so they know he's here. That's a good plant off. Somebody took the TP. I don't know if you heard that. One back sight. Great flash. Again, it's so hard to catch, but pay attention to this. Xer's flashes are like pixel perfect every single time. I think this is why he gets so many kills. Look where he's aiming. This just comes with experience. It'll go just the amount of distance it needs to. The pop just out of Cypher's cage. Look, look at the flash. And like, there's just no dodging that. Like they're just deer in the headlights. They're just lost. It's over. And then you gotta have the aim to back it up, but... And then instantly, it's a 1v1, he knows Sky's bath. Always have a TP cooking. There's just no way he shouldn't win. He could fake tp -er, he could flash her, he could, like, flash tp -er. There's a, infinite options. Yep, flash TP, it's over. Yeah. I mean, just masterclass. There's a reason why he's rank 1. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And follow on Twitch to watch me live. Link in the description.